Hey, that's what I got. I picked these just for you. You missed this one. Here you go, lady. You're welcome. Check out this little guy we found. Mom actually found him over in the mud puddle. I'm gonna go put him back. Cause you're supposed to put turtles back where you got them from. This is a little slider though. He's really pretty. He got, he's got some attitude to him though. He does have a little bit of attitude. Rawr! <laughs> are you dangerous? Are you the big scary dangerous? Oh, you are. I've never in my life found one of these. I mean, not like caught. I mean, I see them in ponds sometimes, but never actually caught one. It's kind of weird because these guys are, I'm pretty sure these are guys hang out in the water mostly, but there's not much of that this far up here. It's quite a ways to the nearest bit of water, except for our mud puddle. <laughs> He's cute. I'm going to cut him loose. Let him do his thing. He's really pretty. I don't know. I don't know if the same holds true for, whoa, don't get my fingers. I don't know if the same holds true for these guys as they do for box turtles, but this looks like it's probably female, if, if it does. I mean, minor indentation on his, on his belly there, so I'm not really sure, but I think it's probably a female. Don't really know though, I'm not a turtle expert. Where are my turtle experts? Beautiful turtle though. Some kind of slider or something, I don't know. Anyway. So this is his mud hole. This is just, it's always muddy here because we let the, the pools, uh, we drain the pools here. Oh, he's on his way, he's gone. He's like, I am getting out of here. Nobody's gonna catch me. <laughs> That's a beautiful little critter. Going for it. Look, y'all know how good this camera is. This is where I'm at. Oh, he's like, it's hot. I'm going over in the shade. I'm going to go hang out over here in the shade because it's hot out here. There you go, little turtle guy. Little turtle girl, whatever. Good luck to you. Stay safe. Oh, yeah. Going up in there. Stay safe. I feel good about that. Just going to hide. So this is my goose man. This is Henry. This is my first goose. The first goose I ever had. And he is a gentleman. He is a nice guy. Henry, you a nice boy. You beautiful. Are you a nice guy? I love you, Henry. I do. I'm quite fond of you. Yes. You're so beautiful. Even though you have a messy beak. You do have a messy beak, but you are such a nice boy. It's hot out today, isn't it? So Henry snuck over to the girl side of the fence. And because he's such a nice gentleman, we're just gonna let him stay over here. He's a good boy, he'll behave himself. So he'll stay over here today. It's a good day to be a Henry Goose, isn't it? Isn't it? I love you. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, so it is super duper hot today. We're in the 90s. And Cookie don't do too well in the heat. So Cookie. Cookie's going to be a house rooster today. And I think he's excited about it because he knows what's coming. He's going to go. I'm going to go rest in the air conditioning all day. Isn't that right? Good job. You're all hot. Hot and panting. We're, we're going to take you to the inside where you'll be nice and comfy. We'll bring you back out. Oh my goodness, you tell them. Tell them. Okay. So Cookie's going to the inside. Stay nice and cool all day. I love you, Cookie. So that's the pool of happiness. That's where we throw all the snacks. And they are eating up some old kale. Looks like there's a chunk of tomato in there. Probably some cucumber in there. Are those the most delicious snacks, Indy baby? That's my India girl. 
I love that goose, y'all. She's like, oh, I'm gonna get up in here. I'm gonna get up in these snacks. They're like, these are the most delicious. See, we having some salad. We having some salad. It is delicious. So that's Maverick. And then that's Victoria, I think. Oh no, that's not Tori, that's Gimp. Hey Gimp. Is that Gimp? Yeah, that's Gimp. Hey Gimpy girl. So pretty. So pretty. Are those most delicious snacks, Elizabeth? So you got new feathers growing out on your wonky wing. That's really sticking out far now. As she walks through the season, you know, as she moves around and rubs it against stuff, it'll wear down to just a little nub. But every year she gets new feathers and it really hangs out far. Doesn't seem to bother her any though. Oh my goodness, Maverick. Ma Maverick is telling it. You tell it, Maverick. You tell it. That's a beautiful goose. Yes, you're beautiful, Maverick. It's like 95 today, so I got the shade cloth off Amazon. And this is really the only cage that stays in the sun all the time, or at least most the hottest part of the day. Um, and so I worry about putting roosters in there sometimes, but now he's got double shade. He's got, you know, he's got that, that black part there that sits directly on top of his cage, but that can radiate heat down. So now he's got that shade cloth sitting up above, which uh, will reduce the amount of heat that that, that first bunker, that first barrier there takes on. It won't get super hot. So he's got, you can see it's already that squared area is nice and shaded now. And then he's got a second heavier layer of shade that's most of his cage. So I'm thinking that will make things much more comfortable for whoever gets put in there for the day. Good lady, you want some watermelon? You want some watermelon? Yeah, she's like, I will take this watermelon. I'm gonna go run and hide with it so no one steals it. <laughs> Like, I got that watermelon. It is delicious watermelon. Keep them guinea birds away. Here, look. Look, I got all this delicious watermelon. Here. <laughs> Give a piece to Onyx, because he's a good boy. Hey, Onyx. Hey, Onyx, you want some watermelon? Here, baby. Here, Onyx. Come get it. Such a precious boy. Hey, guinea birds, you want some watermelon? Oh, gotta fix it, gotta fix it. There you go. How's that? He's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna hit that watermelon. How about you, Lucky Turkey? You want some watermelon, lady? Huh? Here. There you go. There's some watermelon for you. She's like, oh yeah, I will eat this watermelon. <laughs> Thank you, human. <laughs> so, because it's super hot, Cookie's inside, so Turkey Lurkey is doing better in the heat, and she has the fan. Enjoy that watermelon. Fancy. Hey, Fancy, would you like, would you like a piece of watermelon, my boy? <laughs> What is that? That's delicious stuff. You gonna get it? He's like, as soon as you leave. <laughs> Rudy, are you checking out the watermelon, my boy? Come here. Come on, Rudy. Come on. Come on, you know you want it. There. Enjoy some watermelon. You know you want that watermelon. Get it. He's like, yes, I will get this watermelon. <laughs> He's calling the girls over. Oh, oh, that's Scarlet. Hi, Scarlet. Hi, Scarlet. She's like, I'm checking out this watermelon too, man. Here, you want a piece? Here. Here, I will put it up here for you. There. Okay? It's up there for you. Look, Lucky. There's some watermelon, my boy. 
He's like, oh yeah, I will get that watermelon. That is delicious watermelon. When it's super hot out, we do come out throughout the day and we refresh the swimming pools so that they have nice cold water in them. It's extra work throughout the day, but it definitely makes the birds more comfortable. Foghorn, here, have some, wa have some watermelon, here. Oh, it, of course it goes on the wrong side. Here, have some watermelon. He's looking at it. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, oh yeah, that looks delicious. I will get that. We think, Barbie. He's like, this is delicious watermelon. See him panting? Is it hot out here today? Shake, are you hot? Look. Check it out. That will help you cool off, my guy. He's like, yeah, but not while you're here. <laughs> Kitty birds. There. They're like, oh yeah, we're gonna get this. Hey Liz, you enjoying the swimming pool? Let's see Zorro is. So Zorro, if you look at her face, she's got like this bald spot on the side of her face. And she actually has a cyst there. We think it's a cyst, we're not sure. Zorro has a vet appointment on Friday. Hopefully it's not a big deal. And we also have a sick chicken in the house who will be accompanying us on that vet visit. Hopefully the doctor can see them both. Um, but we are gonna need a hand with those vet bills. Hopefully they won't be too, too bad, but uh, if you'd like to donate to the vet bills, you can, all the donation links will be in the bottom of this video. Also, we have a GoFundMe set up for a feed fund that wasn't actually met. Um, so you could donate to that would help too. Um, but if you'd like to help support us here on the sanctuary, we do have that upcoming expense. We could use the help and we really appreciate it. Hi, Big Bird. I got a present for you, Big Bird. Look, I got a nice big, nice tasty chunk of watermelon. Look, you see it. I know you see it. Those are happy rooster noises. He's like, yes, I will eat this watermelon. It is delicious. It is the delicious watermelon. Aren't you just a handsome guy? You're beautiful, you are. Hey, friendly. I got you, man. I got you. Look what I got. You made a mess. Look, your water's a mess. Your food bowl's all full of straw. What have you been doing in here, man? Here, have some watermelon. He's like, oh yeah, I will get that water. So these guys will actually eat the white part too. They'll eat it right down to just what the little bit of green rind left, which you all full of it. Nobody's buying it. Nobody's buying it with that dance, with that dance, with that dance. <laughs> you sure do put on a show, don't you? Friendly. Isn't this bird gorgeous? Look at him. He's got healthy comb, healthy waddles, nice tail, although... Tail's a little sparse, but he's he's still growing it in. He just molted. But look at these golden feathers, y'all. This this bird is absolutely gorgeous. Friendly. Nobody's buying it. Look, he's all talk. This is all posturing. All right, I'll see you later, friendly. You enjoy that watermelon, man. You enjoy it. I'm not too sure if Blue's going to care too much about watermelon, but let's see. I put that piece in there for you, Blue. Don't waste it. He won't. Because if he doesn't eat it, Holiday will eat it. Hey, jerk face. You want some watermelon? You want some watermelon? Here, look. Check that out. You see it? He's trying to decide if he wants to kill me or get the snack. You want it? Look, doesn't that look good? Doesn't it look like it would taste so much better than beating me up? Here. Go get it. Go get it. Don't come after me. Look, we had this discussion yesterday. I ain't even playing with you, man. Picasso. That's right. Look, I gave you a big piece, too. Doesn't that earn me any brownie points? All right. Goodbye, you psycho. All right, girls. I got a little bit of watermelon for y'all. I gave it all out to everybody else. Here. Of course, it always flips upside down. I don't know. Here. There's some watermelon. Get it. It's delicious. Hey, you goobers. Here. 
Here. I need a larger watermelon budget. I need a bigger watermelon budget, y'all. All right, that's it for the watermelon. I hope y'all enjoy it. Enjoy them snacks. All right, so this is the sanctuary right now. It's ugly. I'm going back inside. This shit's scary. They're checking out the damage so far. Um, damage to this fence. Nothing horrible. Nothing that can't be fairly easily fixed. Um, the biggest thing I just got done doing is making sure that all birds were accounted for. And so far, so good. I do need to finish. This was an unexpected turn of events today. We had a very sudden and probably one of the most severe windstorms I've seen in the nearly 20 years I've lived here. So that's the one fence that was damaged there. It's really just some wire. It's not too bad. The biggest thing is getting the trees taken care of. That's a job bigger than I can handle. So I'm gonna have to have a company come out and deal with that. This tree, you can't see it from here, but it actually fell on an emu fence back there, destroyed that. Um, but the other section that I have them in is fine, so I am able to keep them safely contained. Um, a lot of debris, there's a couple other trees down around, but the biggest thing is all the critters are safe and uh, it doesn't look like we took any damage to any of the kennels, which is nice. But, uh, sure could have been a lot worse. It was scary. But, uh, everybody's fine. Just got a big old mess to clean up. Hey, how you doing, Rebel Duck? How you doing, Rebel Duck? Beautiful lady. You're beautiful. You're doing good. You got some bugs in there you got to eat. She's telling these girls, she's like, you girls need to go away. They're like, it's our turn in the swimming pool. And they're like, no, we the pea kings. They call us the kings for a reason. Why don't you step in this pool and find out? No, we just eat these bugs over here. They're like, no, you won't. Them are bugs too. You stay away. Random guinea fowl excitement. <laughs> Why can't y'all just get along? They're, like, they're not the same kind of ducks. We ain't even messing with them. These are all females right here. Not a whole lot will come of it, but the Pekins do not like it when Sage and Rosemary try to come in the water with them. That's okay. There's another swimming pool over here, ladies. You know, there's, there's a nice swimming pool right there. It's full of rainwater. What's up, Menace? Here comes Trouble. What's up, Troublemaker? Just as gorgeous as always. Looking good, Holiday. Looking good, baby. Two bozos. Couple of boneheads. Some trifling birds. This one can go all over the place. He's just over here fighting with this guy. Troublemaker. Look, y'all see this? This is what it's like having guinea fowl, y'all. If y'all thinking about getting some, like they're always looking for a fight. He's the instigator, not Big Bird. Big Bird's just in his little house, chilling out. Look at this guy. He just goes over and start, picks a fight every time. Big Bird's like, I ain't stepping down for you, boy. <laughs> Guinea fowl are trifling birds. They are beautiful, though. This magnificent bird, y'all. I never can get enough of them. Yeah, I'm talking about you, handsome. I'm talking about you. He's a very large rooster, too. Like... I don't know how to convey to y'all just how big and enormous this guy is, but he a, he a big handsome man. Yes, great big handsome boy. <laughs> See how friendly he is? He's just a nice guy. Just a nice guy. Yes, buck, 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 buck. It's my boy.
Look at his tail, y'all. The gorgeous tail feathers. He's like, I'm out. Stop harassing me, human. I'm coming over here to hang out with these ladies. So this, of course, Rudy is the male of the Rhode Island Red. And then that is Scarlet. And that's the hen. That's the female of the Rhode Island Red. Isn't that cool? Beautiful birds. I have to go in and get these baby ducks and put them out for the day, but I have to deal with the kraken right here. This psycho. Look at the straw in the beak. You have it in there. I just took it out of the beak and now it's back in. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come. Give it to me. You really got. Ow! That was a nice. Hold still. Hold still. There we go. I got it. Look, that was up in your. It was in your nose and I saved you from it. I saved you from it. I love you, Zorro. So broody. So broody. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's so angry. She's removing the fingers. Hey, babies. Hey, little crackers. Time to go outside. Come here. Oh, you a mess, child. You a mess, child. All right, we got these little, these little bitties out. You guys are so cute, you be. You are cute. So I got the crew over helping me out. This right here is my oldest nephew. That's a good boy. See him running that tractor? He's 15 years old. And then this right here is my punk nephew. That's Luke. He's a troublemaker, but we love him anyway. You are absolutely a troublemaker. <laughs> And this is Cal. Cal! Hey, Cal. Who I annoy all the time. And then somewhere around here, I got another one of my nephews. He's in here cleaning out this pen. <laughs> so I just got a small army of volunteers. This is Mason right here. He's actually a twin with Kyle. It's pretty cool. But anyway, they're helping out. They're getting all the wood chips spread out for me and cleaning out some cages and just helping pick up after yesterday's storm. Nice to have some help. Look, this kid can run a tractor better than I can. Like, no joke. Look at that. Very impressive. Little beauty right there. It's the time of year for him. Oh. Can't keep up with him. He's all over the place. Y'all, this goose has two clean swimming pools and she's in the mud. I don't know what to do with this bird. She's like, yeah, but this water is flavored. You know, you know you got a clean pool there and well, I know it doesn't look clean y'all, but this water was changed this morning. But she's drinking out of that. Gimp, what am I going to do with you? Yeah, that's right. I'm talking. You see how she looks at me when I call her name? These birds are smart. They know their names. I don't know what I'm going to do with that bird. I caught you. I caught you. And you know you're where you don't belong, Elizabeth. You know it. Look at, look at her eyes, y'all. This bird has the most gorgeous blue eyes. I know. Am I blocking the escape? Am I blocking the escape, huh? I love this bird. She's so beautiful. So beautiful. Look at those eyes. Oh my goodness, Elizabeth. All right, I will get out of your way so you can escape it. Oh, you telling it? Come on. Oh, you telling it? This beautiful boy has not been in the vlog for a few days, so here's some smoky content for all my cat lovers out there. Yes, say Smokey is the sweetest man. He is such a sweet guy. I don't know where his sister is. She was over here earlier, though. But Smokey's always hanging around. Aren't you, baby? Yeah, such a nice boy. Such a nice guy. I can make him a house cat, no problem. I don't know if he would like it, 
but I think he'd probably adapt very quickly. You shed it like crazy though, man. You still shed in, man. Every time, handfuls of, of cat fur. Crazy, Smokey. Got lots of that fuzz, man.